I'm not real happy about the government in Vernon. Cleveland newspaper it seems like they're all going to jail for something. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. I feel that with the council uh, running the, the town, that there was too many people involved. Everyone on this council board has a responsibility to the constituency of this town. There was too much infighting. When you make promises to do certain things, you got to keep those promises. This will be the last meeting of this city council, and thank you for coming today. The headlines, the negative headlines through all the media, was Vernon front page, this is what happened again. This, this person lied again. This person is in a scandal again. They went through nine managers. Before the petition, before the change of government, we had the two-party system. We had, we had the um, Republican and Democratic primaries. And pretty much this has always been a Republican town. And, and the deal was, if you won the primary as Republican, you won pretty much the council seat. And the problem with that, as I saw, my son who's an independent, he couldn't vote. So if you were an independent, you couldn't vote. If you were a libertarian, you couldn't vote. So a lot of the people were frozen out of the process. And by the time it came to the final election, election day, the decision already been made. Yes. Councilmember Shortway? Yes. Mayor Ray? Yes. the Faulkner Act, which is the, the act that we come under in New Jersey that gives us the opportunity uh, to choose the type of government we want. And when we got educated in that, we decided to go down the selection process on the types of government we were, we were uh, needed. And th the salient point was is that we truly wanted to directly elect our mayor. That was very specific to our change. So it was nonpartisan, directly electing our mayor, and then starting with a clean slate of five new council members. So. In the, in the mayor council form that we now have, as the executive officer of the township, if I make a decision, okay, and the people in this town are unhappy with it, and they decide, for example, to recall and I lose office, I still live here. Thanks for coming. Committee petitioners were motivated as far as motivated could. With the literally, these individuals would spend their weekends from seven in the morning till dark. Standing from the AMP. I'm sitting there on two o'clock in the afternoon and a car drives up and out comes six people. It was like a clown car. And they come up, they sign the petition, they get back in the car, and I said to the woman when I says, Aren't you going to the AMP? She goes, Nope, we just came here to sign the petition. She said, That's the only reason we came. This one particular gentleman said to me, says Eddie, I can't, I can't even afford to pay my taxes anymore. You know, I says, I'll sign this, but can you really make a difference? And he was choosing between buying food and paying his taxes. And they, they, he just says, will this make a difference? And I looked him in the eye and says, yes, I think it will. And I'll fight for that. Thank you for your comments. They're well taken. Thank you. The vote that took place last November was overwhelming. Absolutely overwhelming. If anybody had any question that the people in Vernon were fed up and had had enough, that election said it all. Honestly, I've never experienced anything like that moment. I mean, it was happiness, just like a wave of happiness. They were chanting, we've had enough, we've had enough. I was really wrestling this issue about whether I was going to run or not. And uh, my bride of 16 years, said to me, and I want to pull this out because I think it's something that it's really a, a relative point. She began reciting the Declaration of Independence to me verbatim. When any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. When my wife finished 
declaring the Declaration of Independence to me, I sat there with my, my mouth wide open. I said, I have to run. I am done. I am done. Government is an agreement between citizens to work together. We are going to do this job with dignity and the respect that it deserves. You can count on the fact that we will work together and not run from any of the issues that surround the township. council member, so help me God. If Vernon could be a model for the rest of the small towns, that moves up to counties and that moves up to states. Now we're looking to federal. I mean, it really, it gives you hope that, you know, things don't need to be the way that, that they are, you know.